Second time, yeah. I'm the worst. Oh yeah, we went to the uh, Star Ladder tournament together. How did you forget? I'm sorry. I didn't get the cast with you at that one. I was really yeah depressed. because I had uh, we had Lacox there. Lacox, yeah, exactly. You should explain that in case. Uh, for those who don't know, it's uh, Lacoste and Dakota Cox. <laughs> that would have been a, kind of an interesting thing if somebody wasn't uh, super familiar with it. Um, but yeah, that was a great tournament. Uh, I believe it was, was it Liquid that won that one? Yeah. Liquid TNC? Was it TNC in the final? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. That's when Jakiro was all over the place. Jakiro. Yeah, Teban brought Jakiro there. Brought First Selfie pick every game. I remember asking him, like, why, why are you picking Jakiro all of a sudden? The hero did not change. Just said, we just tested it a couple of times. It works. We're just going to go with it. Yeah, no. That was uh, the first one after the big patch that came out. Um, sort of similar here again with another patch, although that was really Dota Pit. That was the other one. Do you feel like the meta is sort of stabilized at all? Well, the patch right now is uh, super cool. Uh, there's some unexplored things, uh, but I think maybe couple of level 25 talents need to be changed which ones it feels like when you hit level 25 on certain heroes oh, it's just so that. stupid <laughs> um, for example medusa level 25 the getting the the items proc yeah, on it yeah i was i thought you were going to talk about the brewmaster one well brewmaster as well he has what 15 seconds downtime and if you make octarine core which uh ice, 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 ice. did uh two days ago just so broken. <laughs> a five second cooldown afterwards. Just a uh, consulate going in. I actually, you know, we were talking about the pubs earlier. I played a position for Brewmaster uh, in my pubs yesterday with Jack. We went dual offlane. And you lost, of course, right? In eight minutes, we died collectively 14 times. I wonder why. <laughs> there were four of us stacking together and one poor random Chinese person. And he was just, a, he was an absolute saint throughout all of it. But at some point we broke him and at like 30 minutes in, well, the, he, he they all chatted, N.A. Panda, God damn it, go home. Wow. <laughs> well, the thing is uh, 7K in N.A. equals uh, 6K in Europe equals yeah. 5K in China. Fair enough. Well, we're finally ready to hop into this game number three, all on the line here. Obviously, don't want to drop down a lot lower bracket. We hop into this one. And early laning setups. Anything you really want to avoid for either team? It's just going to be a Medusa mid against that uh, Tiny. I wonder what Tiny can do to a Medusa. We saw him uh, in the first game. He lost the lane so badly, the Venomancer against the Tiny. Right. I'm still not sure. If that should happen, maybe it's because of Veno range, Veno's range. Uh, Medusa has a bigger range, 600. Right. Yeah, I don't that think that's a little bit easier. Let me just double check. Yeah, Venomancer has 450. 450. 450. And uh, up in the top lane, it looks like that's where they're going to be wanting to send the, the Venomancer. As Kyle going to try and sneak around to the side and go for some cobort mission. Unfortunately, there's already a ward placed down there, it looks like, uh, as well. And they're able to get all the vision in the world. Puppy might have spotted him. Chessy going in the for the rune. Begins. You have an Omniate over there, and it looks like able to get it. No fuss, no muss. Okay, top rune is being pinged out. No one picks it. All right. Bounty Hunter is running really low on mana. And he doesn't have a clarity. A little bit of a different one for him. He's getting ready to sit mid. A uh, really good block from Limp means it's going to be a little bit tough for CTY to do all that much. And Poppy just gets that creep. <laughs> He's what up? Got to take his 10% from the lane. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually 25%. He actually took, took more. Point. Yeah. One of the four creeps. Oh, you know the other thing about this? Uh, somebody was telling me that when you deny creeps with the branch, it doesn't use up some of your slots. That was the other thing that uh, worked with it. Uh, it doesn't take up some of your charges, rather. I got to check that. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep your eye on that mid lane, because that's also one, something that would be pretty insane. And part of the reason why it works so well is the avalanche already thrown out. CTY again, Dyer's down to pretty low HP there. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye, just keep talking. All right, no problem. Well, 
As far as the uh, other lanes are concerned, we got ourselves the Puppy Fata Show up in the top. Chessy and Kyle hanging out together as well. Oh, Shaman's always been a little bit buff in terms of the amount of damage he does. 77 right now sitting there with the Fairy Fire in hand. That's not even 100 damage. It is not. Level 2 hero. Oh. Fata? Gonna have to TP away? They shackle? Okay. They got the HP there, and Fata's gonna end up dying. I wasn't expecting a level 2 for Kyle. First blood is the Whoa, that, that's actually a really big kill for the top lane. And meanwhile, Maledict used the Burrow Strike, trying to turn it. Gonna do some damage there to move, but Ace gonna be forced back and away. Ace is running really low on region, has only two tangos left. Witch Doctor, Jeez. only one. This is a lane that could run into some problems as well. Mu, maybe just even gonna be willing to throw out some Burrow Strikes now and then as mid lane. They're gonna think about going, Puppy shows and draws some creep aggro, and then is gonna back out again. Yeah, Medusa, pretty even matchup this time. 14 oh against 11. Dude, bottom lane though, Ace ends up falling. That's the second kill going to Cole. Yeah, this move is such a beast on uh, the sanking. That's been really impressive. And, and like that little bit of help that he gets too from Z Freak on the Nature's Prophet, it's just that little extra bit that you need to push it over the edge. So, three minutes in, complexity off to a hot start in the beginning. And see right here in the mid lane limp, it's been known to play Tiny a time or two and gets the toss back there. They get punched as well a few times. CTY, tough going against the Rock Man. I don't know, Tiny's not taking any damage. Uh, he builds into. Ring of Basilius, just to get some armor up, so he does not get harassed, plus uh, blocking the damage with a stout shield. Radiance middle tower is he looks so attack. funny when he walks. <laughs> yeah, with the tree there. No points in grow. Obviously, to get any larger, but... And Fata pushed back. We haven't really talked about a ton except for the talk about that de first death, but 7-0 and so far on the Omni. Got some CS for himself as Bounty Rune contention coming up here. Yeah, Omni is one of the heroes that can actually move to a forest, especially with a Quelling Blade, and just get the oh. farm up. Z Freak. Oh, and the fall there. The Burrow Strike, though, to try and turn it. Now they've got themselves Yap Soar, and he is going to die as well. Puppy picks up another rune there. Invisibility. So do you think that he does make that rotation into the jungle eventually? Well, he needs to, because he can't really contest the top lane anymore. Yeah. I mean, uh... Venomous Gale is dispellable now. Before, if you repelled after, you still got slowed. But now it removes it completely. Oh, Moo trying to turn it. The Burrow Strike's there, but they did lose the Tiny and the Purification to turn it, but it's not going to be enough. And now Moo forced to go into the Sandstorm. And that's going to keep the rest of them away, at least for the moment. Still a good trade for Secret. Just the Witch Doctor. Or a Tiny. I mean, they made a four-man rotation, but it's still worth it. Puppy. And uh, it gives some space to a razor on the bottom lane to actually farm. It needs to get some more farm. I I'm not sure how Sanking managed to shut down Razor's farm. It's been really insane how well he did down there. But it's working. Um, I just sort of question-wise, as far as the, the pace of this game and what we expect to see, um, does Puppy need to have as big of an impact this time as he did last game? Yeah, of course, but uh, he's not the same uh, level as in the previous game. He's only in one kill so far. Right. And that rotation in the previous game where he went uh, to a bottom lane, uh, once the safe laner left, gave him a lot of levels. Just needs to find kills in the next couple of minutes uh, to get him the, the level. He's going to be the one buying the book, but still need, needs to get at least level 5 before minute uh, 10. Oh, and this is tough too because Mu is here and it's not an easy kill by any stretch of the imagination. Z Freak also in the area. They're kind of just holding hands together and making sure that they're not going to get found out. The bounty rune looking attack. to be taken as well as Yapsor moving in. They want to try and go here onto Mu. He's getting hit. The coconut bounces are okay. Is it going to be enough though? The maledict. It's level two maledict. Uh... Oh, nah. not enough. The rain drop. Real, real nice. 
and that will keep me alive. Well, another failed rotation for Puppy. Still level two at six minutes in. Gotta get something going. And yeah, they don't have too much to initiate fight with. They have one stun from uh, Witch Doctor. Well, okay. oh my god, toss him away. Get out of here. I don't want to see you anymore. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Team Secret's uh, lineup uh, has so much heal. Even against the Venomancer, you have uh, Purification, you have Witch Doctor heal at one point, you're gonna have it. Uh, but, uh, so I guess they're just gonna group up as five because uh, they can't really gank. Right. Around the Medusa, maybe. Um, uh, it's, well, it's, it's tough. So, I, I guess thinking about, like, the, the way that the Medusa wants to play this, you just gotta get big and tanky and be able to stand there in front of objectives, basically. Yeah. He just needs to be the frontliner with all that heal behind him. We saw that in the King Wins game where they had the uh, safe lane Dazzle and Omni Knight as well, plus an Ogre right. to just buff the Medusa. Okay. Well, in the meantime, Chessie maxed out Plague Wards here with treads to make sure that he can get that maximum efficiency. They're pushing down the tier one tower in the top lane with the second wave coming in. Kyle, not quite level six yet. He's level four and a half, roughly. They might just continue on the top lane. They don't feel threatened not to. Yeah, this is sort of what I think the panel was talking about, that you need a hero that can get stuff done early, and Complexity are sort of taking advantage of that lack of a hero. Yeah, there's not enough deep push, and uh, these heroes are not as active. Uh, no, I mean, they have a slow on bounty. And the uh, cast from Witch Doctor, that's pretty much it. It's, it's a different game because uh, they have Medusa on a mid lane. Right. Unlike the previous game where they had uh, Lesh who offers a stun and a slow. So thinking about that then and the way that they want to play it, um, Secret going to give up those objectives, although Ace, I don't want to give up this kill. If you can avoid it, he is going to go down. Death. Realizing it and... A bit oh. too deep. You need to be careful about... Uh, TP from Nature's Prophet at any time. Puppy, level 3 now. 8 minutes in. Limp is getting closer to his treads. Take a look at the net worths right now, and it's Venno sitting up top. Been down from on high with Z Freak getting a lot also, about on par with where the Sand King is. Yeah, he's been pretty much free farming. There's a huge stack on the top lane where Fara is Radiant's trying to farm it. He's gonna need a couple of more purifications. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, they're just uh, gonna pressure that tier one tower. Secret really can't contest that. Uh, Aquila on Chessy. The extra bit of armor there. Puppy again Radiant. spots out move, but not really able to do that much. Kyle, he's five and a half now. Been able to get a lane to himself for a bit. Yeah, Kyle is a really high level and uh, also farm has mana boots. Between before 10 minute mark that's, yeah. that's really good I mean and he's investing so much in the centers around the map just to see where bounty hunter is moving oh witch doctor gets away on nothing there in the mid lane as well as bottom lane they're pushing again and, and the thing is is they're not able to get the top either it's just not happening right now but they are gonna come and defend this it looks like CTY needing to take down those wards the time Complexity will need to keep the pressure because uh, they can uh, just pressure those towers and there's no way uh, Secret can stop them. Right. They need to rotate Medusa where the push is. See right now, Mu, I believe, spotted out the uh, Razor over there and was thinking about going in onto a, something for him, but the Omni Knight rotates back in and he's sort of just going to have to sit off to the side as the Courier ends up going down by virtue of Bounty Hunter. With the tome on it. Big pickup there. Yeah, it was probably going to Nature's Prophet because he's still level 5. Bounty needs to get his tome. Oh my though. god, they trapped him. They got him in the wards. He is repelled though, so Kyle's just going to be able to walk away from this one. I think instead they're going to turn their sights now well. over to the side, onto the Omni, trying to take him down. Bottom lane, they're also going on the Medusa. Kyle is going to fall to this though. And now move, forced to TP away, but if they can get the Medusa kill down bottom, which it looks like they will. It might, it, it, that's totally worth it. Every day of the week. Yeah, Razor's gonna farm those uh, snakes, or maybe not. The creep wave is pushing in. 
And that's the thing uh, about Omni Knight. You have three spells that you can change the fight with. Yeah. You just need to be at the right place at the right time. Well, 90 GPM is the pickup for the Venomancer. All of the tier one towers except for mid are down now and Limp trying to slowly beat away at it. Deuce is gonna TP back in. Ace trying to farm that out. It's a 2,000 net worth lead, but 11 minutes for complexity. But Secret, they've still been holding on to that mid-tier one at least. Yeah, they need to get a chicken, get the dome, the bounty hunter, and then try to make a, make something happen, get the track gold. Well, the Freak gonna TP away. Mid lane, they're getting set up again. As the rotation in, Mu gonna get stunned for a moment. Coconut's bouncing back and forth between the two. They got him caught with the burst strike away. Z Freak looking like he's wanting to live here, but his TP's on such a long cooldown now. He's just gonna have to make some space for himself. They oh, finally no track him. though. Yeah. Ace killed him with the unstable current. Uh oh. Tiny though. He wants to come in. He wants to find this finish. Puppy is there. They're also bringing in move, but they have Omni Knight in the area. I don't know if this is going to end up working out for Complexity. They do get a tree kill there to the side on Puppy, but now Limp is in some trouble, and the Avalanche, maybe he can throw it out once the Repel wears off. Tosses him away as well with the Maledict. Yeah, that, that's a big finish. change uh, that uh, Tiny cannot uh, toss BKB units anymore, Magic yeah. Moon units. You could have just tossed him there and live. But getting that nerf. Well, in the meantime, though, that opens up space for the mid tower to fall. Yeah, oh, they're man. drawing so much attention with just the uh, position four nation profit taping. Oh, epicenter, the burrow strike. It's on to two of them. One is already down. And CTY looking like he's going to be a liver, but they're still taking a lot of damage here on the Chessy. He wants to all in for this one. If he can, he doesn't quite connect with the poison nova on the app, so are able to dodge away from that one but they aren't able to finish the tower still. Yeah, bottom lane, uh, Kyle is just gonna go for that tier two tower. Nice. He's getting a lot of gold. Yeah, Secret's been doing a really good job of dealing with this, but uh, it's just, there's so many different people that are running at you constantly. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Mid tier one though, starting to get pressured by Secret. This is looking pretty good for them if they can make something happen. It doesn't look like Complexity wanna face that yet. If uh, they take all tier two towers from Team Secret, oh, they still no. have Medusa, though. Oh, maybe they don't right now, but uh, <laughs> oh, just for the defense of tier three towers, it's so hard to push into Medusa. Yeah. And well, they're gonna need her to be rather large in this game. She's only about 600 gold behind the Venomancer, with the Mask of Madness done and the Dragon Lance. But complexity, looking like they want to. Keep the hurt on the secret. Tower's just been alive forever. It's like it's Not finally for long. down. Yeah, I take it. Razor TPing in for this one. Repel Ace, but they don't want to chase. Nice rhyme there. What lyrical the gangster? <laughs> oh God! Please no. <laughs> oh Kyle, he's over here by Puppy. They're gonna try and. Get a stack for the tiny to take attack. eventually. But with the towers falling and a 4,000 net worth lead for complexity, how concerned would you be for Secret? Are you still feeling like they're okay? Oh no, Moo, he caught him yet again. The Burrow Strike is there, getting a little bit of help from the Ancients as well. And even if they don't find that kill, it's still just slowing down the farm. Yeah, Medusa's gonna need uh, one more big item before she can actually deal damage in these fights. Oh, Puppy's showing up in just a second. He's within sentry range. Oh, and they're going to turn off to the side now. So Z Freak may be in some trouble as the Witch Doctor Ultimate comes down. They do find that kill. So something going right for Secret there. Yeah, it's a track gold, uh, three-man participation. But the problem is this Venomancer with... He hit the uh, level 10 pretty early, so 90 gold per minute is gonna help him a lot to stay at the uh, top of uh, net worth. Omni Knight needs to get to level 10, okay, he just got it. So he has the same talent. 
Limp in the meantime, dealing a lot of damage to this tier two tower. Look at that, just one duration of tree grab and a couple tosses. The tower is already down to about a fifth HP. Meanwhile, inside the Roche pit, Complexity just putting their eyes and crossing their T's, moving from objective to objective. Like Puppy wants to courier snipe, but nothing doing yet. Yeah, this Roche is gonna go down pretty quickly. I don't think uh, okay, Secret is drawing on the map where they are. Yeah. Because there were some stacks, he expects them to be in the forest, clearing those stacks with a tiny. Well, Complexity instead gonna smoke up immediately after finishing Roche. Tiny has a haster in here. That's a game changer. Get there in range. Who is it that's. Oh god, Medusa! CTY right by the shrine! Can they blow her up in time? Abba toss! No, he tossed the wrong thing! They're not hitting there! They're gonna be forced to run away. Oh, a right. misplay. Never mind. <laughs> oh. I mean, they even had a shrine. It's pretty. Huh. I guess they were just trying to toss away Medusa from the shrine so she yeah. can't heal up, and uh, even with the TPs, the supports won't come that fast. That that was. Uh, but I'm not sure they they would have enough damage even with uh, with the proper toss. Yeah, I mean it was cl close because everybody from Secret started to rotate immediately afterwards, and they were still fairly close to the shrine. Um, but regardless, didn't end up happening. Secret maybe dodging a bullet and four staff for Dusa. What are the items that she needs to get into, or what are what's the point where Secret is going to feel comfortable fighting? Is does that point come around? Well, with Medusa, you always have that uh, super late game ready, so you don't want to rush things. If yeah. you can find a good fight, okay, it's a full pike actually on Medusa. Okay, so she she just needs a damage item right now. Dyer's top probably top probably top a maelstrom just to. Help to clear those uh, treants with the split push. Just get that extra gold from it. Moon's down bottom right now, completely alone and pushing out the creep wave. And there are some movements in right now from the Witch Doctor. They've got eyes on him with the track. And I think the move, a oh, bro, okay, breaks that. Sandstorm doesn't do anything because of the track, but I think that they still should have Moo here as Ace finds the kill. Well, the thing about that build, he went... Uh, in the previous game, or in the first one, was it? Yeah. Uh, it delays your dagger so much. The time. That is it tough. can backfire. It, it can work good, but uh, it's it's risky. Yeah. Well, and now you look at this after taking out the stacks. Limp looking to finish off the ancients as well. And Avatos gets to level 15. So the next talent gonna be on board for him if he wants to take it. While also Kyle getting towards his level 10, 200 health for him. If you go for a Shadow Blade build, then on level 15 you get 125 Avalanche damage, so you can burst people more easily. But if you decide to go just for the SNY build or Manta style, which he wants to build to get rid of the track, uh, then you go for HP. You just want to be tanky in the front lines. Absolutely, and you see this Omni Knight here going for the Radiance. It's all building to that later stage game. And makes me wonder how they're going to eventually feel about it is, you know, like, is the Omni Knight really going to be able to get into that before high ground push starts to come around? Well, he still has a hood, so he's good. Okay. That, that's my... <laughs> that's your rhyme. That's my rhyme, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it was beautiful. I loved it. Uh, well, Fata... He just used Repel, and everybody is coming to try and take him down. Is he going to be able to get out of there in time? Yes, indeed, he did. If Limp used stun, he could have gotten him. You think so? Yeah, by the way, how, how Avalanche works, it, it would have stunned him. I didn't know, see if Repel wore off by that time yeah, or not. Yeah, it was just wearing off. Got it. Puppy again going to go for a curry snipe. A little bit off the mark as it's heading through the top. I feel like Flexity might have learned their lesson at this point. If the, they don't break the high ground uh, in the next five minutes, it looks like they're going to go for it right now. Uh, they want to use that Aegis, which is going to wear off pretty soon. All right, well, Fata walks forward. They drop the wards. They drop the trees. Every damn thing. They at least use the Glyph now. 
Can they find a way up to high ground with the wards starting to get taken down? Limp is walking forward, does not have a tree on him though. So it's not doing that extra bonus damage and Plexi back out for a moment. That's it for a push. I don't think they're gonna try to siege tier three towers anytime soon. Without wards in particular. Maybe wait for that 30 minute mark again with the two catapults. That's the timing you want to go for. But the thing is, if Omni gets the Radiance, you're going to have three super late game scaling cores. You right. have Razor, Medusa, and then you have a Omni Knight as well. But on the other side, you have Venno and the Tiny. Right. For a late game, they're not that effective as the other three on the side of Secret. And a move. Gonna get four stacked away for the moment. Dropping down low. Is he gonna fall? They aren't quick. It's gonna get that. Sure oh, can. Oh, he dodges. <laughs> nice play there by Moo. Blink Dagger was there on time, and well, Jesse just trying to walk away at this point. The Poison Nova is down. It's gonna do a lot of damage to all these heroes, and Limp is starting to show up as well. They can get the toss back and away. Save his buddy. Nice play by Limp there, saving the brother. Now oh, that was close to disastrous for complexity. They didn't kill anyone, actually. Yeah. Save your friend. It works out this time around. So Mu does have that Blink Dagger. They might think about fighting into this. They're coming back in with the Venomancer as well. Looking for the catch. The Burrow Strike could come out. Yaps are looking over to the side, though. He's in Viz. The Coconut's bouncing back and forth between the two of them. They're chasing forward for Secret now. They want to take this fight to Sprout. to go there onto Z Freak himself, and they toss in one. And initiation is the Omni Knight is gonna drop. Lamp with some clutch, clutch back tosses. Yeah, and Moo, they found themselves Yapsor as well. With two down, they do have buyback on Omni Knight, but no buyback on the Witch Doctor. They're just gonna give up on uh, tier two tower on mid. They might actually catch some of them top. Oh, if they get this kill as well, the Medusa, he's caught for the moment. I don't know if they have any follow up for him though. It looks like instead they're gonna focus over to Buffy. But this pickoff as well, uh, Secret is just starting to crumble away here. They have Rasta Ward, so I think Omni might need to buy back, yeah. All right, Omni buys back immediately, but Complexity sieging high ground now. They take down the Tier 3 tower like it's nothing. There's going to be a repelled up Omni Knight walking forward, but the tower, the barracks, they're already down, dropping and dead. I didn't expect uh, the Team Secret to play that aggressively. They can just sit in a base for the next couple of minutes and then just get more items on Medusa and the, and the Razor. This uh, buyback from Omni Knight is going to delay his uh, Radiance a lot. Yeah, and he, like, he gets into a 90 damage talent, but that's not necessarily what you would want. He was almost dead it there as well, so still pretty freaking farmed right now, Fatsa. And all of that because of those two back tosses yeah. from Tiny. In spite of the nerfs, still making it work. Uh, level 16 on him. I mean, it is still a Medusa with 13,000 net worth on her. Trying to get further and further ahead as the epicenter comes out. Puppy, not long for this world. One coconut bounce, but Moo is already out of there. He has a force staff done now as well. And God, look at this. Link just walks forward, punches it, and runs away again. They're going to need to be careful around for the split push right now. And the most annoying thing, once the tier 3 towers go down, Nature's Prophet just sends uh, the Treans there. Nothing you can do about it. Shrine already killed on the top lane, the bottom lane one. Nature's Ooh. Prophet just going to TP and take it eventually. They took the Poison Sting slow for the Venomancer there, as the Scotty has done for the Usa. What do you think about that? Well, maybe against the Razor, who has a high movement speed, so the more percentage you have, the more you slow him. Yeah. It goes for Medusa as well. And I mean, that's something that we've seen from Complexity, is wanting to just sort of kite away from the Razor and the Dusa, and it's been working pretty good. Well, 25 minutes in. Roshan up and available, but... Just pawned. I don't know if they're going to try and go for a curry snipe again for Puppy. I mean, it's all good and well, but actually, it doesn't have a TP right now. I don't think they're going to. So, over the next couple of minutes here, how do you see this playing out for both sides? 
Uh, obviously, Complexity are in a great position right now, being seven, 6,000 net worth up. A lot of open ups for Complexity because of that tier 3 tower. They can easily uh, take the Roche. Does he have a dust? He just scanned out Poppy, but uh, they don't have the vision for him. Right. Um, so even if they try to take a Roche fight, they can easily TP with Nature's Prophet just to pressure tier 3 tower on the bottom more, or even take the Raxus on top. It, same goes for Rasta. A lot of options for complexity because of those Raxes on top are gone. But uh, has the relic done? He's getting close to that radiance, but Kyle walks forward, has him hexed, has him caught, has him shackled, has him everything. Fata dead. Doesn't finish off the radiance. Oh God, no okay. buyback. 60 seconds. He needed 40 gold. Oh, oh, that is that's devastating. This is literally a poppy pause. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment to think about things. Figure out what they want to do. Look at that Z Freak picture right there as well. It's probably how he's feeling right now. They're, they're having a great time. But, uh, well, Medusa is jacked with the uh, Eye of Scotty, level 19. Once she gets uh, to level 20, that changes a lot. She can actually stay in front yeah, and not take any damage. Yeah, stone cage duration is really good. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm <kidding>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 800 mana thing is ridiculously good. It feels like you can stay there forever. They could just round it up to 1,000. Yeah. Like everything else uh, is a round number. Monkey King, let's just give him uh, 100 armor. Let's just give Timbersaw 100 damage. <laughs> also, this uh, GPM talents on Omni and Veno could have been a hundred as well. Yeah, why not? At 90, give him the extra bit. Omni has 90 damage. The thing, right? Yeah, the 90 talent. 90. 30 movement speed there for the bounty hunter. Not as good. Hopefully, they end up getting back into this game in just a second. It does look like they're talking through the issues as well, but. 26 minutes in, and with Omni Knight dead for 60 seconds, I mean, your complexity, you think in Roche at this point? They just need to push out the lanes, and uh, some of the heroes show up. They don't have a shrine to TP on the top, so it's, it's not working. Uh, so they can see how the situation goes, can just pressure the tier 3 tower on the bottom, or just right. take a fight. They're strong enough to take a fight. So... There was a quick exchange there that happened where they were just asking what it was, and it's a headset issue, apparently, so... One more meme. One more. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> so, the next... What's... What's happening next? The monitor thing? The monitor? Yeah, exactly. No, it's, uh... It's all good. But, uh... With I... a lot of memes, actually. You, you said first he took the first creep from the mid lane. Mm-hmm. Taking that percentage. Yep. There you go, man. Now the headset. You know, I actually, I, I, you don't normally always get a chance to talk to players and stuff, but I, I got a chance to hang out with Puppy a little bit when I was at the Star Ladder thing. He's one of the coolest dudes ever. Yeah, like, he's very nice. Yeah, he is. He's really chill. Yeah. Like, I felt like I had to say that because I've been memeing on the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> like, just in case. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, look at this guy. The, the Venomancer. Are you feeling like it's the new thing? I mean, Chessy, they've been making it look pretty good. Well, it's viable, still pickable hero. Uh, it was, like, forgotten a little bit. But the, instead of, uh, what, he had 40 XP gain? Was it 40? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little too much, but with the GPM talent, uh, you can build into whatever you want to, like a more utility build. Look, look at him sitting on the 24 armor with uh, some sick magic resistance. You want to go for Aghanim Scepter at one point. I forgot about that change as well at the level 21. The Gale summons two wards. I didn't even see anyone <laughs> going for that. No, it's, it's the Poison Nova duration. Nonetheless, again, waiting for these headset issues to be resolved. 
bad enough when one person is needing to use the chat wheel for communication if your whole team needs to. Not necessarily the greatest. But uh, the other thing to sort of watch out for, I guess, uh, as this goes on, is just the, the Aghanim Scepter that I believe I saw was pretty close to being completed for the Shadow Shaman as well. 2k gold away from it. I feel like when that thing comes out, game's just over. You just drop those wards down, you run at a tower, start hitting like crazy. That's why Secret will need to have Medusa a little bit of before tier 3 tower. I mean, they need to take a fight, but they can't let them get close. But the problem is that they don't have a hero to initiate with. Yeah. I mean, who would be the main one that you would want to go for there at all? Like, is there even any initiating hero, really? I guess taking Shadow Shaman, if they can try to smoke from behind, maybe. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going to a quick break as uh, a couple of the players want to run to the bathroom. All the headset issues are being resolved. But we'll be back in just a little bit for when this game continues on. Stay tuned, everybody. Perfect World Masters, Game 3, right after this.
Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. Hello and welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. We're here and the game is getting started. Everybody is ready to go. Headsets are working, but unfortunately for Secret, Radiant's Omni Knight is still dead. Yeah, that's a long respawn time, huh? Oh, Give goodness. Us okay, they're not going. Yeah, it is a long respawn time. Especially with the pause. <laughs> that's true. Can't argue with that. Crack me up, man. All right, well... Level 16 for Venno. They are moving in towards Roshan still. 13 seconds. Or Omni Knight respawns. But it doesn't look like they want to go for it. Instead, just content to farm out the map right now. I mean, we've talked about if Medusa gets into a couple more items. Oh my goodness, that is a big old bunch of uh, treants. But do you need to be like uh, sort of keeping the tempo up constantly for complexity right now? Or do you think that they're pretty comfortable with just the keeping it like slow and methodical well they just need to win one fight they can break the base full base with uh, their heroes but i'm afraid they don't have enough damage to deal with medusa right she still isn't at that level 20 talent yet oh courier snipe happens sea freak getting his music even though he's not dancing right now on the courier kill but secret looking to try and go for a smoke gank of their own. Yeah, or... Secret wants to fight now. And they can uh, actually are going for the Roche. Oh, man. I don't know if they have enough damage to take it down before they reach the base if uh, Cole knows something is up. I mean, Complexity isn't moving in for this at all. They, they don't have any idea that this is happening. And if they're able to get away with stealing Roshan, this would put a huge uh, hamper into Complexity's plans. Yeah, Complexity doesn't know about it. Now they're moving in. Do they decide to fight? They actually do. They take down the illusion of the tiny, and now they're moving into here, I think. Ah, oh, but it's Roshan already dead. It was too quick. And Cheese goes for the Medusa, gets her level 20 talent. Oh, man, that is huge. Yeah, this 2,000 mana pool Medusa twice with 2 HP and Omni Knight sitting behind you, but these Treants and a couple of Venom Wards are dealing so much damage, and... Uh, Z-Freak even just trying to split push top. Radiant's Those Dreams will take down this uh, range Rex. Yeah, and it should be able to get finished here. Um, against the Medusa, though, how serious is one lane of Rax? You know they're gonna focus on the bottom lane because you still have tier 2 tower right. on a mid. Especially when you're playing a scenario where you lost two lanes, you know where they're gonna come, where they need to break the base. Right. So it's kind of easier to defend uh, when you have lost two lanes. Okay, gotcha. From that point of view. Yeah, from at least yeah. that point. I mean, you got the gold advantage. It's a little bit rougher in that way as well. And it is a 10,000 gold lead right now for Complexity. Uh, but they have the Radiance done on Omni Knight. They've got that big talent on Medusa. Has a Scotty done as well. Spirit Vessel for Moo. Quite nifty. Yeah, if really casted good. on uh, Medusa, she can't life steal that much. Witch Doctor does not heal purification. Also, it's just twenty-five percent of the heal. Does it also work the same for cheese? I it should, it so, should right? work. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'll see if that ends up making a difference or not in these fights. But in the meantime, they track up the illusioned tiny and. They eventually are going to take it down, I think, but showing just how difficult it's going to be eventually to take that fight against the Tiny. They really don't have a lot of damage right now. Well, Secret is really not in a rush because they have these three scaling cores. Omni Knight can become super utility and damage dealer as well. Also, if he builds into Aghanim Scepter, which uh, can help his buildings as well. On the other side, you have Tiny, who's going to fall off as a carry. And you have a Venomancer as well, who's going to get uh, six slotted pretty soon. Yeah, and that's when, you know, you start having a little bit less effectiveness for every net worth that you've got on your team. We've seen Medusa's just be able to take over a game. Granted, this is a split push lineup from Complexity or a group up and push. And now they have the Aghanim Scepter done on the Shadow Shaman as... Limp, maybe in some trouble. That's the real one. Able to mint dodge away from that stun. And, well, four staff as well. 
Doesn't end up Just working. a casual four staff. Oh, they're trying to get him closer to puppy so they could go for a shirk and toss. Uh, it wasn't an, close enough though. So one more four staff on the side of uh, secret. What do they have? One, two, three, three already. Yeah. Well, and Witch Doctor is getting into some of those bigger items because of that GPM talent that he took. Well, a lot of gold for him. I'll take your tribute. So, 32 minutes in. Now, if you're complexity, do you wait until the Aegis is completely gone before you go for any type of a play or just play pickoff stuff in the meantime? I mean, if you look at the network graph, there are 12k gold ahead, but it doesn't feel like it. Right. I mean, Razor is... Uh, Kind of behind the Tiny and Venomancer, but still, he deals a lot of damage in these team fights. Definitely. I don't think uh, Complexity can actually contest a fight right now. They need to make something happen. He's gonna, he's gonna snipe the courier once again. Ah, uh, they're just gonna put it on the side so he can't kill it. But does Poppy know? Oh, he always knows. He's always going for it. Look at him. Holy he's standing shit! There. Poppy makes it work. <laughs> <laughs> That was nuts. The wards, I, I mean, they, they didn't have any vision of it, did so, they? So for the <laughs> next time, so that he doesn't kill it, Medusa ulti. Oh, Jesse, some trouble. Gonna end up falling here. The malady damage more than enough. So secret, they make a couple things work here. Yeah, so for the next time, they should just bring a chicken here and then use the shield thing. Oh yeah, there you go. Then you have two seconds Dyer's bottom for this. Is under attack. Man. It's hard to know though. Okay. Uh, Avalanche? Blimp? Trying to run away? They do have Kyle there. He definitely doesn't want to drop boards, but he ends up having to go forward in the end anyways. It's a lot of damage there. Four step away. Wards down. Nothing gains. Complexity. Needing to find an answer here. An elimination game. They're starting to lose heroes one at a time. Shirk and Toss almost connects there. Oh man. Aegis is gone. But uh, his full HP on the Razor. And Moo here as well. Spirit Vessel onto the Dusa as they are chasing. And now with Fata coming in as well. It's Ace. Moo realizes he doesn't want to be here anymore. And the Blink Dagger getting canceled there as well. They got the track on him. Another kill. But bottom lane though, Z Freak is just trying to split push, forcing them to use a glyph. Nice. Over to the side actually. He's tracked and so they spot him. and. Well, no way to TP out of there. Still five seconds on cooldown. Z Freak going to drop. In spite of the pressure they're putting, they're still losing these heroes. They need to get uh, Medusa, a uh, BOTs. Razor has one. Oh, there it is. Uh, so they can try to. I mean, the cooldown is uh, so much lower with BOTs on your uh, TP. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think that it, it's what they need because Medusa is just a naturally very slow lumbering hero, uh, kind of a bit like Tiny nowadays as well, um, who by the way ended up going for an MKB. So Manta, Lincoln's MKB, none of these items scream like very offensive, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, AC seems like a good choice. They need to have someone to deal the damage to Medusa and they can't deal the damage if they can't hit her, right. that's the thing. I guess but it gives he's kinda, he, now. Yeah, but he gets kited by uh, by Scotty. That's the thing. He's already super low movement speed because of the nerf he got on his ulti. Right. So he's 385. Once uh, they slow him down, with Scotty, he's not moving. And you have two mobile heroes on the side of uh, Secret pl plus Track speed. Tiny can't really do too much this game. Yeah, it's really tough. Definitely. I mean, he's slower than Medusa right now, and. Now look at his movement speed, 260. I mean, that being said, Chessy now going to throw out that Gale. Doesn't quite connect. He ended up going for that interesting talent where it summons a couple wards if it hits, but end up missing. Only and way for up. Complexity to play this game is just try to split push, and that's pretty much it. Of course, it's difficult to do against Boots of Travel on all the cores. Medusa going to TP bottom, push this one out, make sure that Nature's Prophet doesn't get anything for free. Yeah, with BOTs, she can uh, clear the wave and uh, come back. But it's a 45 seconds cooldown on BOTs. On what was once looking like such a huge lead for complexity.
start to look at where the sitting now. Only 2,000 net worth behind. The, the items on uh, Omni Knight start to pile up. Uh, GPM yeah. talent. BOTs as well. So triple BOTs plus a Lotus Orb. Goodness. Uh, and they're going for these little things, you know, the Diffusal Blade on Venno, trying to get into uh, ways to drain the mana, but even then you're still going to be missing her a lot Radiant of the time. I'm not sure why Diffusal Blade, it doesn't remove a Guardian Angel anymore. Yeah. I mean, just to burn Medusa's mana, I don't think that's possible. Now, and, well, Moo gets stunned and in some trouble here again. No way out. Moo just dies. They keep on falling apart. And... I think it's complex that it needs to do something right now, and they feel it, but uh, they can't find any openings. Right. This impenetrable wall of a snake lady. It's a Chinese wall. <laughs> CTY Medusa. <laughs> now, maybe this is the way to make it work. As down bottom, a TP into an action. He's gonna blink right on top of Z Freak. Need to get out of there. He's in a hell of a lot of trouble. They're running him down as well. Limp though, they get the repel off in time, and that's gonna be Z Freak dead. And now Limp is also in trouble. They run him down, slowed for the moment. Man, this Fata Omni Knight is just a menace. He's moving so freaking slow and is eventually going to die. Complexity, lose three, gonna lose four as well. A double kill for CTY there. They are destroying them. Yeah, the mo I didn't add up the movement speed, the reduction from Dijon Aura. He's moving at 1, 160, 140 move speed on Tiny. I really don't see complexity getting back into this game. I mean, they can't even split push anymore. All of their lanes are constantly pressured in, and now pushing high ground secret, ready to take this one. They're going to need buybacks, but they don't have it on Nature's Profit, and... Best of them that do, it's gonna hurt their farm so much. Everybody's sitting behind this Medusa ready to keep her alive. The tower falls, the barracks as well. Who can just sandstorm right now? That's about it for them as the track comes out and he's forced to back out. First lane of barracks, go in Secret's way. Yeah, so it's 1-1 uh, one, one for the barracks. Uh, Roche will respawn in 30 seconds. So when they scout it out, they can just force Complexity to fight into Roche Pit. It's, it a, it's a fight that they can't win. It really does feel like that last Roche sneak that came from Secret was like such a huge moment. Because that gave, you know, the deuce of their talent where they couldn't fight into her, gave them the Aegis where they didn't want to fight him for a long time, and then she got into those next couple items. Gold is a yeah. great conductor. Blink on Tiny, going back for anything at all. I mean, if there is a way for them to take this fight, if there's a way for Complexity to do it, what do they need to do? Like, what's the team fight? How do they win a team fight? They need to burst down the Omni Knight with uh, Rasta. Just hex him, control him, but it's super hard. I mean, if you commit everything to killing an Omni Knight, you're gonna force Stone Gaze from Medusa. And they're gonna be in bad position, but even with that, they have two, three, four staffs actually, so they can just force him out of the trouble. And now Medusa finishes the data list and gets that level 25 talent. This is this is looking really, really scary. 7,000 net worth lead. It, it's it's just a bit of complete 180. And there it is, moving in for the Roche. As far as refresher is shard is concerned. Get this for the Omni Knight. Going to be trouble. Jesse walking forward, wants to get these wards down to start to build a way to siege, but they just get destroyed as well. All right, Aghanim Scepter being brought out for the Sand King. Long range, Burrow Strikes can be there. They're four staff away. Already able to force out the Eye of the Storm. Burrow Strike now down onto one. They blink away afterwards. But the wards have been committed and secret. They don't need to fight around him. Maybe Limp can go for a toss play? What? Well, toss what? <laughs> I don't know. A toss Medusa? <laughs> Is that a terrible idea? Yeah, that sounds like uh, hooking a Tide Hunter into your team. Uh, 15 to 14. And. Well, oh, thought about TP Nova. He ends up having them canceled his TP boots. And they back out again. Plexi now looking to try and push in the creep waves and make sure that they're staying around in case Secret go back for Roche. But 
Lucy just keeps farming these and <sighs> Scotty onto everybody, Daedalus. Tiny just tickles her. Yeah, he's healing the illusions at this point. Don't even necessarily need Razor to sit by them since they have those boots of travel. Um, guess, like, trying to push out creep waves, is there anything else that Complexity can really do? It feels like they're just stuck. Yeah, they've been stuck for past 15 minutes. They've been 15k gold ahead. Now, Secret leads 7k. Moving in towards Roshan. There's, there's no... Uh, any big items coming out on the side of complexity, any big talents uh, that can actually change uh, what's gonna happen. Like right. If you look at Tiny, he's level 23, even with three toss charges or avalanche cooldown, it's pretty much nothing. Venomancer, also not even close to level 25. Even if he gets there, nothing changes. Z Freak now being hunted. They spot him. They're gonna track him. The rest of complexity is smoked up and they're moving over towards the ancients, but it's going to be Z Freak that falls. And I mean, maybe I, they, they just can't do anything. Just don't have an option. They're pushing in the creep wave mid, but it's immediately just gonna get pushed back out. Like, they, they can just stick the Medusa in there and keep her alive, and they know that there's nothing that Complexity can do to start try and contest. Well, they know they can't split push. Now the Prophet uh, is gone. And if they have a vision on Rasta, then they're just really good. And their bottom lane is the only way the Complexity can enter. Toss in one. Hex onto them as well. The wards are down. Maybe a fight that could look not terrible, but as I say, that Chessy is dropping very low. He got the Poison Oak off, but still going to die. Ace inside the wards, they do not give a damn. Three are gone from Complexity, and Roshan looking like it's gonna go as well. The epicenter looks decent, looks okay, but it's not enough. They get off the Guardian Angel, and they're just gonna shrug it all off. Even the region spawns. Disappointing indeed as Fata jumps forward. They find Mu, they take him down as well. As he drops, four dead from Complexity, no buyback on Moon. No buyback on the Tiny either. They have a DD bottom. They'll just go and uh, end the game from here. Second we we don't have a meme for that. No. Well. <sighs> unfortunate situation indeed for Complexity here. They have a refresher shard on Omni as well. This guy has a level 25 talent. Ended up going for that... Repel duration. Expert, yeah. Repel duration. Kind of an interesting one there. I guess that it's just all about the Dusa. Then just buff her up. I mean, she's sitting on 6,000 gold. Can buy a Moon Shard. Still have enough money for a buyback. I mean, as an Aegis as well. That's really, really disappointing. But Secret looking really strong in this one. And it, I guess it's sort of what the... Uh, the panel was talking about, you know, you, you take these lo losses, you take the lumps as they go along, and then eventually you just win team fights. You said it yourself earlier, Deuce doesn't lose. She doesn't. In proper hands. Yeah. Uh, it's not a 60 minute yet. CTY, 60 minute guy. Oh. <laughs> has fallen. Classic. It's now in ready to storm high ground yet again. Complexity looking for anything at all to put them back on the right track. It is feeling like it is all a pipe dream at this point. As the tier 3 tower goes down, 20,000 net worth lead into their favor. And slowly dismantling the buildings. Only one set of racks is left. Yep, so we're saying get ready. He's saying get ready for the GG, because it's feeling like it's going to be in, well, any second now. <laughs> the defense of the tower with the trees around it, they'll never see it. All right, there it is. Yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty much over at this point. I, 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 don't, I don't think there's anything at all that they can do. They summon two wards by hitting a gale. Medusa just kills them. I mean, Medusa has a hex as well. 3,000 mana pool. Well, there's the Lotus Arc. They turn it back around. Mu is going to drop now. And Medusa gets tossed deeper in. The hex is undispellable, but I don't think she cares at all. 
gets off the stone gaze as well in just a second here. They're starting to bring her somewhat low, but the Aegis, it's still all for one. And well, they're gonna see if they can go for another one. Lim trying to kill her off, but well, Death Ward gets dropped though. And with the Omni Knight dead, it doesn't even matter. CTY still living through it all, still hanging on to that Aegis, and it's Mega Creeps. Yeah, Omni Knight has enough gold to buy Octarine. There it is. 7,000 gold in his pockets. I mean, buying that does mean he doesn't have buyback now. But I don't think it matters. He has a gold talent. It's gonna come pretty soon. Another 100 gold, he's good. Oh, and there it is. So, uh, towers are all gone. The barracks are all gone. Complexity not wanting to drop down to the lower bracket, but... Sure, you don't always get what you want. Even buying the BKB. Oh, for maybe posterity. with uh, three toss charges once uh, Tiny hits level 25, so they line up and uh, he just tosses one hero back yeah. to a fountain, so he has a target to toss him to. That's great. Is that the, is that the play here? No. Okay. <laughs> it's not really a play here, is there? Oh, Manta backing away, gets the shuriken hit as well on the limp. They want to push out the creep waves. And again, it's just, it's so frustrating, I'm sure, for complexity, because you get those wards down, the towers are going to fall, but he's haven't had a creep in the basin forever. They're going to come right now. Witch Doctor level 24. He has an Agadems, too. Plus that death ward range. See how much damage he's able to do in the fights. His limp, desperately going to try and push out this bottom They're lane. They're waiting for Didi on top to spawn. There oh. it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, and an illusion rune to boot. Why not? All right. You know, I hear Medusa does a lot of damage. We're going to see it here. Oh god, it's a scary one, and she TP's in. Dealing well, roughly 500, 600 damage a pop, and just gonna walk forward, see these towers melt. Nothing left in the tank at all. Even if they let Tiny push free farm down there in the bottom lane, it would not be able to outpush the strength of this Medusa. Burrow Strike is forward. They're gonna try and take her down. Poisono as well. Look at the damage, Jesse. Barely able to live through that one as Ace pops his BKB. They're just walking forward. They're taking everything, everything from them as. They end up losing Kyle, Limp trying to toss them away. The Witch Doctor Ultimate going as well with the Agnum Scepter already there. They have an Ags on the Razor to boot. The wards are dropped, but the Ancient is falling as Complexity are going to lose this game, get dropped down to the lower bracket. And they put up a good fight, but in the end, this Medusa was too freaking big. The toss? The toss? Still, it's not still ages on her. She still has the ages, yeah. Well, there's the stun, there's the burrow strike, back and forth. GG is called. And Secret are moving on, confirming top six for them. So, you don't need to have a guy who speaks your own language, huh? <laughs> Apparently not. This is the ultimate assurance to people. It doesn't matter if people don't speak your language in your pubs. You can get top six at a minor.